Hi Aquarius, this is your August tarot reading for 2017. My name's Diona from Superconscious Soul. So initially what I'm getting is in your recent past, there's been a situation where you're either kind of moving too slow with something or other people are moving a little bit too slow for your liking because this is your recent issue. It could be an earth sign, um, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. They could be um, moving a little bit slow for you or you could adopt the energy of this character. Um, so this character is very loyal. He's very persistent, um, meticulous, plows the lines in the field um, slowly but surely. They're all straight. They're all on point because he knows to, he needs to do that in order to grow. But he's the slowest moving of the nights. Um, so somebody else could be quite frustrated with you having this energy. Or you could need to adopt this energy in order to um, finish what you're doing, let's say. Or to complete a project. Because underneath that you have the strength card. And that tells me that right now you're you're using your energy in order to... Get past the lion, but get past it without it kind of eating you, so to speak. It's about um, using your grace, your poise, your um, strength of character, but also your um, loving side in order to get past a situation. There's a situation where you're um, possibly working on your self-worth or you could be working at your job creatively. Others could be starting to see your good work. You could be um, sorting out your next area of study, let's say. Um, you, you're very creative. This is about, um, it could be reflected in either your home life or it could be reflected in your work life. But I feel like people are seeing you as this good, loyal, persistent, hardworking, strong energy this month. I feel like you're, you're giving off a radiation of strength, let's say. Then we have the Ace of Swords. This talks about you um, looking at things from a new angle, a new perspective, looking at them using logic, reason, um, seeing a brighter day, seeing um, a new possibility because this is an ace, um, wanting to kind of, it's about, it's about triumph, it's about, but it's about overcoming adversity, persistence of will, strength of character, strong in mind, um, it's about being focused, Balance and seeing things from a whole new perspective. Underneath that, we have the Ten of Swords. And this is probably why you need to start looking at things from a new perspective. Because it, he's been kind of stabbed in the back. But normally in the tarot cards, he's lying there and all the swords are in him. But with this one, he's kind of like, F it. He didn't kill me. So now I'm going to walk away from this and I'm going to be stronger. And I'm going to look at this in a brand new way. And I'm going to get over this. I'm going to triumph. I am not dead. Yeah. You're like, you, what, what else can you do to me? And plus the Ten of Swords also completes the cycle because you finished the cycle of whatever that was. The whatever it tried to kill you, it didn't win. So now you're kind of looking at things in a new way. So I took a couple of cards on either side of that and took that Ten of Swords just to see what that energy was. But it's not giving me much other than that you have the power and everything at your disposal. This is the magician. This is number one. This is also mirroring this ace and new beginnings. It's saying that you have everything at your disposal right now. That he is somebody that uses all the four elements to kind of create something within the now. To create this new start. Yeah. Also you've got the two of rods. And this is clearly talking about making a decision. Needing to decide where it is you want to go next. Because I feel like this month you're, you're going through a massive transformation massive you're looking at things in a completely different way you're on point with your air sign energy you're like you know what 
that's it. I'm, I'm, I'm starting again and I'm doing it this way this time. You need to decide what this way is. Yeah. Underneath that, what's helping you this month is that you're growing things. Yeah. You're growing, you're, um, you're nurturing, you're fishing, you're looking for the next thing. It's like, this is somebody who's like going to university. This is somebody who's trying to level up in their job. This is somebody who wants stability, say like a house. This is somebody who's trying to, they're building something. They're a page, so they're not quite at the king level yet. But they're building it, and they're building it solidly. They're like, they're happy to put the time in. This is another earth sign energy as well. So this is somebody who's happy to put the time in. They're persistent. What is um, not helping you this month, or what you're moving away from, I'm seeing, is this five of cups. And this is this, poor me, oh, woe is me. It could be been grief. It could have been serious grief in the last couple of months that you've been going through. And you're, you're deciding to look at things in a whole new way, a whole new perspective, a whole new... Stop, don't look at nothing in that darkness. Keep looking forward because all your cards suggest. So we're moving on and we move into your future. So I was saying that all of your cards suggest um, that you're moving past things. But this is the Six of Cups. And this is kind of like a nostalgia. But it's looking at the... the it's focusing on the good points. Um, it's about the memories. It's about um, holding on to that emotion. Um, but it's also... It's... It's romantic. It's things coming in like that. Because in your, your issue this month is not really an issue. You've got the Three of Cups. So you're going to be socialising. This could be people from your past that you're kind of bringing back to socialise with. This could be um, um, sharing memories of that of, of a past with friends. You've also got the Ten of Pentacles. So this is about money being well established for you this month. Family being well established. You're um, looking to um, establish legacies, um, foundations. You're looking to um, maybe get a little bit in, of inheritance. It could be from a family or um, it could be from a, a funeral possibly. I'm getting so you could be getting a little bit of inheritance from somewhere this month or you could just be kind of establishing your tribe I'm getting you're establishing your tribe this month you're deciding who you want around you you're deciding who makes you feel good who makes you um feel nostalgic who makes you feel emotionally happy yeah for your um, advice this month, you've got the Nine of Swords. So I'd stay away from any mental anxiety. Let it go. Like I said, there's no point going backwards into this energy because we've got the Ten here. This is going to go backwards. Don't go backwards into this energy. Go If you're going to go backwards, think about it in an emotional way, in a nostalgic way. Just think about the good things. Forget. Forget that. Forget whoever tried to kill you. Forget whoever you had to walk away from. Whatever situation you had to walk away from. Because you've got the king of rods. And he is somebody that moves forward courageously. Um, he can. He moves forward powerfully. He's got that fire energy behind him. He's, he's an entrepreneur. He's a go-getter. This could be levelling up in your job. This could be um, new love coming in that's kind of fiery and knocks you off your feet a little bit. But it's asking you not to worry about anything this month. So release the worry. Take care. Stay blessed. Thanks. Bye-bye.